I realized that as a choreographer, I guess you can create movement or you can find movement. So I'm Moon Rivas and I'm a cyborg artist. I have uh, some implants on my feet that are connected to online seismographs that allows me to feel the seismic activity of the planet in real time. And I call this the seismic sense. I, I knew that if I unite myself with technology, I could perceive all these imperceptible movements. That's why for me it has a very artistic background. For me it's, it's always been focused on art and how we perceive reality. No? And this is, it's like my concrete point of view. So now I'm here in New York, but if there's an earthquake in Japan or in California or in Greece, I would feel a vibration inside my body. And depending on the intensity of the earthquake, the vibration I feel is a stronger or less strong. I remember the first one, the one in Nepal. And that day it was, I felt really uncomfortable all day because I could relate in a way of to the earthquake, but of course it was completely different. For me it was just a, a vibration, but I kind of felt connected and I felt kind of guilty. I feel like for hundreds and hundreds of years, humans have been changing the planet in order to live more comfortable. But maybe we have arrived uh, in a moment that it's, it will be more necessary to design ourselves in order to live more according to the planet, to the needs of our planet, than designing the planet in order to live more comfortable. My current project is to feel the seismic activity of the moon and we call it the moonquake because the, the moon also shakes and actually we no longer need to be an astronaut and go physically on space in order to explore it. Maybe if I'm getting used to it, I will leave Earth and just <laughs> having my feet on the moon. We'll see.